Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I am going to cover the function, which is an FC in the TIA Portal software. I'm going to open up the main program, Black OB1. This block contains networks from all of the previous lessons so far. So I will collapse all of these networks, and you can see networks 1 through 9 actually have all the code in. Now I will select Add New Block. And then I'm going to select a function, which is going to be an FC. I'm going to name the block. So I'm going to give this block a name, and it's going to be called Code from Previous Lessons. Then I will select the language, which is going to be the Ladder Logic Programming Language, LAD. Then for the numbering scheme, I'm going to use Automatic. So when I press OK, the software will generate a unique block number for the FC. So in the title bar, you can see code from previous lessons, FC1 has been created. You will also see that in the project tree. Next, I will expand out the block interface area. This is where you can pass parameters in and out of the block. I'm not going to be using any parameters in this lesson, so I will minimize the block interface area. Next, I will use the tabs at the bottom to toggle back and forth between OB1 and FC1. So now I will select OB1, and I will select Networks 1 through Networks 9, and I will right-click and select Cut. Because I'm going to move these networks from OB1, and I'm going to paste those into the FC1 block. So I will right-click on Network 1 and select Paste. I will collapse all of the networks, and then expand out Network 1. This network was in here by default, so there's no code, so I will right-click and select Delete. I will enter in a comment for this block. Now I will expand out Network 1, and you can you know, see some of the code. Open up the block, the main program block, OB1, expand out network 1. Now there's no code here. What I'm going to do is drag the FC1 from the project tree into the ladder editor. Blocks that have an EN can be conditionally called. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a normally open contact before the block, and I'm going to select the always true tag. This will make that EN condition true, and the code from previous lessons will be executed. So I will save my project. I will select Download to Device. Now I will select Load, and this will load all of the changes into the PLC. Now I will go up and select Monitor. So now you can see that the block code from previous lessons is being executed. I will right click on the block and I will select open and monitor. This will open the block and put me online and monitoring the code. Now I will go offline. I will go back to OB1, and I will change the always true to be always false. This way the, the block will not be executed. So I will save the project, download to the device, and I'm going to overwrite the block OB1. Then I will go up and start monitoring. Now you can see that the block is not being executed because of the always false. It makes that EN false, so the block will not be executed. So I will stop monitoring and go offline. I will enter in a title for network one. That just indicates that it will conditionally you know, call the block. This concludes the lesson on functions.